All right, questions for CJ Baskerville? CJ, obviously it's not the results you guys wanted, but I thought the secondary played better than you guys did last week. Cause can you give your assessment on what you, your guys' group did tonight? Uh, yeah, we uh, during the week we were, you know, last week we felt like it wasn't us, and we, and we still do. Uh, so we were really harping on like our eyes and communication because we felt like those two components were really the issues last week with our eye discipline and communicating through the back end. So um, just reassessing those uh, fundamentals throughout the week and uh, just harping on them going into today um, really helped on that. Um, but there are also, again, there's some areas like we know we, we, we did better than we did last week, but there's also some areas that we can definitely help out on the defense, especially in the run game. And Coach talked about it, but giving the scores after the failed conversions, you were part of that defense last year that really excelled at that. Is there any difference in mindset or anything like that that kind of that you see from your guys? No, I, I don't think it's a difference in mindset. I think it's uh, you know we we had a lot of experience last year, so you know the, the guys on the field um, last year they they had been in those situations before. So uh, as many would see it as kind of like your 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 backs against the wall. Kind of last year, a lot of us were we had a lot of experience, so we had been there before and like we kind of knew how to handle it. So um, having new, uh, newer guys. Uh, uh, starting or on the, uh, playing this year, it's just kind of the thing that we have to kind of get through our, our our heads that you know no matter what happens, we still we always have an opportunity to uh, make something out of nothing. So, what what would you like to clean up from this week moving into next week? Yeah, uh, tackling. I feel like tackling can always be better, um, especially uh, with the quarterback. I felt like he. You know, he was just kind of running all over us tonight, and you know we could have got him down uh, before the six many times, and we weren't able to do that. Um, and also, we can always get better at communicating. Um, communicating, just uh, knowing and just doing your job. I felt like uh, on some on some plays, uh, there was just one person uh, who just didn't do their job, and you know, you need everyone eleventh, and uh, and so just not doing that can can have a big burst of a play. So uh, just. Just getting down to the basics, knowing and doing your job, uh, keeping eye discipline a key factor in what we're doing, but also communicating again. Those two things, especially in the in the secondary, can <clears throat> can make or break your secondary. So obviously this week we did a, a better job at doing that, but we can always get better at that, especially when it comes to the run game, because I felt I felt like that's where they kind of got us tonight. And uh, as defensive backs, like we do, you know, our our main job is you know the passing game, but we also have a, a big job in the run game. CJ, uh, can you speak to the I mean, the difficulty that the quarterback run added to you know, your responsibility defensively. Um, considering, you know, coming out last week, the story was, you know, they had two receivers who went over 100 yards, and tonight he hurts you more with his legs than with his arms almost. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really just another athlete on the field, you know. Uh, and the last week you weren't really worried about the uh, quarterback, you know, scrambling and whatnot, but... Uh, whenever you could have you could have everybody covered, and when you have an athlete uh, like the quarterback you have tonight, he can make plays happen. So it's essentially just another it's another player to guard, uh, unlike uh, last week. And when when they're as uh, as elusive as uh, they are as he was tonight, it can really uh, harp, uh, make a difference into what we have to do. And also uh, for our game plan, whenever. Whenever you have everybody covered, you're in a drop eight. You only have three three down linemen, you know, and the pressure's not there. Then uh, it can kind of make it difficult to contain that quarterback, especially with how elusive he is. Um, so just uh, we have to get we have to get better at our uh, rush lanes and uh, our underneath coverage guys. Um, noticing whenever the quarterback's about to take off and kind of leveraging between whether uh, the quarterback and uh, and our and playing in the flat and the curls. So we'll we'll get on that this week and we'll be better for next week. Anything more for CJ? Yeah, his loss, as you last year, you lost your uh, first game on the road. You already have one win, but in the last year you lost two of the next three. How do you not let something happen again, like the last <clears throat> to you know, snowball into more losses? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's we're going to get back Sunday, and we're going to go through all of it, um, the, the good and the bad. And I think it's you have to learn. I feel like last year we had let things snowball. Like we, we had the tragic loss with the first game, and, and we let it roll into the next, into the next. And you can't you can't have that. You know, if, if you want to be if you want to have an optimistic year, and if you want to keep climbing, you can't let one week affect another. You have to learn from that week, and not necessarily just drown in, in what it was. You have to learn, and you have to take what you've learned, what you did well, and learn what you didn't do well, and into the next week. And get better at it, and just keep on going. So, yes, <clears throat> we're we're sitting at one and one, but that's not where we, that's not where we wanted to be. 
uh, going into week three. Um, but we're just going to take what we didn't do well here and we're going to fix it and we're going to take the things that we did do well and we're going to be even better at it. I think that's the only thing you can do at this point and to stop things from snowballing because whenever, whenever things are snowballing, you're, you dwell on the things that you didn't do well. And I feel like last year that's what we did before we got into later in the season to where we, we stopped doing that and we just need to take this loss, take it on the chin, understand what we didn't do well and the things that we did do well and do better at them. All right, thank you, CJ. Thank you, CJ. Thank you. Thank you.